Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take Photoshop Elements and create this iPhone looking dock and some icons. Now if you haven't already done so, go check out Awesome Zero Down. That's the one that I've made this particular dock for. Let's go ahead and look at the right hand side here and you'll see that I have quite a few layers. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to break this tutorial down into three sections. The first one is creating the dock right here, the black dock. The second one is creating the icon. And the third one is creating the shadow or the reflection that goes on the dock. So let's go ahead and start by going to our file menu, selecting new blank file. Now I've already got the width of 900, height of 600, and 300 pixels per inch res resolution started here. So let's go ahead and select OK. That gives us a transparent background. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a nice uh, gradient here by choosing two colors that are very similar. One would be a lighter color. Let's go ahead and make this one blue. Select OK. Then I'm going to select the background layer here. Choose another blue color right here. Select OK. Now that I have light blue in the foreground and dark blue in the background, I'm going to select my gradient tool, which is right here. I'm going to go to the top option bar. This is called an option bar up there when I can get rid of those pop-up icons there or the word tooltips. Click the down arrow and let's make sure that we have light blue to dark blue and then we have the radial gradient. Click in the middle, drag a line off to the side and there we get our background. The next thing we need to do is we need to go to our rectangular marquee tool by clicking and holding if you have the elliptical marquee or just selecting the rectangular marquee. Let's create a rectangular marquee on a new layer. Do this by going to your layers palette, clicking the new layer icon which I call the dog ear because it looks like a page dog eared. That will add a transparent layer. I'm going to select a new rectangular marquee here. Now I need to fill this with black. In order to do that we can hit D on the keyboard which gives us the default colors. Then I'm going to take my bucket tool and dump it inside here. You can hit Control D or Command D to get rid of the ants and there we have it. Now that doesn't look like it's 3D so we need to go over to Image and then we need to go to Transform Perspective grab one of the top handles here and drag it towards the center. Hit enter when you're done or the green checkbox and there we go. There is our dock. So that's the first part done. The second thing we need to do is we need to go over here which is our shape tool. If you click and hold it there's a bunch of options. Select the one that says rectangular, uh, round rectangular. Type in 10 pixels as your radius and then click the down arrow here right next to the shape and make sure that we're on square. And I'm going to draw a shape. And you noticed that it created a square shape with round edges. Anything is fine, but that's what I'm going to do. It didn't pick the color because I didn't click on this down arrow to or the box here to select my color. So if I click that and I click the uh, eyedropper tool in there and select OK, that will change this to the green color. So there we have it. That's the beginnings of the icon. The next thing that we need to do is we need to give it that reflective shadow that's right there. So in order to do that, let's create a new shape layer or a new layer by going to the new layer icon again. Click on the rectangular marquee and this time choose elliptical marquee tool and let's draw a circle with a width 4, fixed ratio, and a height of 3. So in your options bar, choose fixed ratio, width 4, height 3. And let's draw an ellipse. There we go. And then once you're done, you can use the arrow keys to move it around. And we want it on the top third of our icon right there. Since this is on a new layer, we can go ahead and we can fill this with white if we want to. Now we're not going to fill it with direct white. What we need to do is we need to fill it with a blended white. So let's go ahead and hit D one more time. That'll give us the default colors. And then hit X and that will put the white in the foreground. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the gradient tool. This time we're going to select the standard gradient, which is the first one right there. Click the down arrow. Choose the second one over, which is foreground to transparent, or in this case, white to transparent. And I'm going to draw a transparency. If you hold the shift key, it kind of makes that line go straight. Not too happy with that. Uh, let me go just a little bit further down. As you can see, it's starting to get kind of a, a shadow here, or a reflection there. So let me add just a little bit more on there till I'm happy with this. Okay, so now we have this kind of a gradient here. Now what I need to do is I need to have a black part of the gradient, which is down here. What that does is it gives it kind of that 3D look. So if you hit Command-Shift-I, it will select everything outside of that particular ellipse. Hit the X key, and that will put black in the foreground. And once again, now that we've got the gradient already selected, it automatically puts black to transparent up there. And once again, I am going to hold the Shift key down and make a transparency, or I should say make a gradient. And as you can see, it's starting to get a little bit of black there. Now I'm real happy with what I have right now, so I'm just going to leave it as is and hit Control D or Command D to get rid of the ants. Now, we need all this stuff to go away and we need to only have this part that's square. So in order to get that, you're going to hold down the Command or Control key and hit your shape layer, which is this one right here. Once you've clicked that, it's going to select the marching ants around your shape. Now, hit the second button over in your layers palette, which is your layer mask, and that will get rid of everything. And there we go. There is our icon with our reflection on the top and a little bit of a darkened reflection on the bottom. Now if that's a little too harsh for you, which many of you it might be, let's go ahead and dial down the opacity just a little bit like this to kind of give it that reflective look and there we have it. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to add some text. So I'm going to just add a bit of text here. Let's go ahead and choose white as our text color right there. I have 12 points selected right there. Check the green checkbox and I'm going to click on top of the icon. Now I'm just going to type any letter. I'll type G as my letter and then click the green checkbox and I can use the move tool right here in the upper left to nudge my letter. Now, this doesn't really look very good right now. That's because it is above that layer that we just made. So let's go ahead and drag it underneath that layer. And there we have it. There is our first set of icon right here. Now, we need to link these three layers. So if you click and hold, and you just hold down the Shift key, you can go ahead and select those three layers, and then click on the Link button at the bottom, and that will link these. Then, an easy way to make another one of these is to go and duplicate layers. And what it will do is it will duplicate the whole set of layers that you chose there. And select OK. Now that we have these up here, and it's a copy, you can see each one of these is a copy, you can double click the G, and then let's just put H, lowercase h, and then click the green checkbox. Double click where it says shape, two copy or shape one copy, whichever one you have, and it will bring up the color picker. I'm going to select more of a cyan color here, maybe a seafoam color, and there we have it. So there's our second one. If I use the move tool, click on the text layer, and then nudge this over, you can see that I have two icons now. And we would keep doing this. We would just hold the shift key down, select these three, right click, and then duplicate the layers. Now I'm not going to go through this because this is already getting kind of long, this tutorial. So now what we need to do is once we are done with this, we need to copy all of these layers right here and make another layer. So hold the top layer, click on it, hold the shift key and go down to the very, very bottom layer. So right now these are two of our text layers right here that I'm including. And then we want to go right click it and then we want to duplicate it. So now what it's doing is it's duplicating 
this entire set of letters. Now why did we want to do that? Because I want to merge all these to give it a reflection. So we go to layer, we select merge layers. And what that will do is that will merge these right here. Now our original ones are all still right there. This is just a copy or a duplicate of that layer. Now what we need to do is we need to flip these upside down. So if we go to image and we go to rotate, we can flip the layer vertically, which is exactly what we want to do. We want to keep it and we want to flip it upside down. We're still on the move tool, hopefully, so you can nudge these down by going like this. There we go. So that's going to become our reflection. Now we need to add a layer mask to that, and there's our layer mask. One last thing we need to do is select our gradient tool. Now we have the white to transparent now. Now we need white to black, which is the first one. Now I'm going to make sure that I'm on the layer mask. I'm going to click on the top, hold the shift key, and then I'm going to let go and create a gradient. Now that's not a very good reflection, so I'm going to go a little bit more. There we go. Now this is our reflective layer right here. All these are our icon layers and then this bottom one right here is our dock layer. Now if you want to go in there and you want to change a color, go to the letter that you want to change. This one's G. I can double click on the layer shape and then I could make this red if I wanted to or orange and select OK. I could come over here underneath the H, double click that one. I could go in and change that to yellow if I want to. Now if you want to change the letters, pretty easy. Double click the T which is right next to the H here and then I can just type the letter Y. I can double click this right here where it's the G layer and I can add something else and then I can add maybe J. So that's the way we have it so far. You go in, you create the dock first, then you create the icons right here. To make the reflection right here, what we would do is we would copy all these layers. Let me go ahead and show you one more time. We need to turn that one off because the reflection doesn't match anymore. Click on the very top layer, hold the shift key, go all the way down to the bottom layer. Right click it, duplicate your layers, which makes an entire new set. Then go to layer, and then go to merge layers right there. Now what we're going to do is flip it upside down by going to image, rotate, flip layer vertical. Then we are going to add a layer mask to this. We're going to use the move tool which is right here. We're going to nudge this down until it looks like a reflection. And then we're going to add a black to white gradient right here to give it that reflective look. And there we have it. Hope you enjoyed that. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos. Have a great day and give me a thumbs up. Take care. Cheers.